Hello everyone, Mike Grempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel blog post. Today we're going to take a look at logarithmic scaling in Excel. This is a chart option that you can use when you have a set of data that has dramatically varying numbers or values and you want to be able to show those variances a little more clearly. So let's see how we can use logarithmic scaling in Excel. So here's our scenario. We have 12 months worth of data for four different locations, and you can see the values arrange quite dramatically. We have values as low as $1,800 and as high as $494,000. So if we selected this data and went to insert and maybe recommended chart and chose a cluster column chart, here's the values that we get, and I'm going to enlarge this a little bit get rid of the title here and you can see it's pretty easy to see the values of Cleveland and Pittsburgh and how they compare but Detroit and Chicago are so low it's really hard to get a good handle on the variances that they have there so we're going to choose the logarithmic scaling in order to change how this view is seen so I'm going to right click on the y-axis here and choose format axis and the format axis dialog pops up and down near the bottom you can see logarithmic scaling if I click on that what happens is that y-axis changes to a scale of the base and each one of the increments is that base to the next power so it starts with 1 then 10 to the first 10 to the second 10 to the third etc which gives us 1 10 100 thousand 10 thousand and up to a million so now it's a little easier to see the variances and how they compare. And you can see that Detroit and Chicago pretty much fall between the 1,000 and just over the 10,000 range, where Cleveland and Pittsburgh fall between the 100,000 and million dollar range. Now to make this a little more dramatic, we also might want to click on that format axis, bringing that back, and maybe change the minimum to 100 instead. Tab on that, and that adjusts it a little bit more. I also might want to consider clicking on the chart, selecting the chart elements, and maybe removing the legend and adding a data table instead. I'm going to expand the size of the chart a little bit so the values show up better. And now we have a chart that gives the viewers the values so they can compare them numerically. But also you can see it visually on the chart above in the logarithmic scale. Again, with Detroit and Chicago falling around the $10,000 range where Cleveland and Pittsburgh are in the middle of the $100,000 to $1 million range. And that's how you use logarithmic scale in Excel. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy Excelling.